Well, I guess just the first one, seeing him walking around the room, um, not talking to rookies, you know. I, I wondered who he was and asked Bob Gain. I said, hey, who's that guy? Because all the reporters come and talk to everybody all the time. And I said, who's that guy? He said, oh, that's Red Fisher. And I found myself doing that about a year later after he talked to me finally. And then uh, I had a young guy come up to me and say, hey, who's that guy over there? How come he doesn't talk to me? <laughs> I said, well, you're a rookie. And that's just how he was. And, um, you know, he wanted everybody to know who Red was. Uh, let's put it this way. If he traveled with the president back in the 60s, he and the president was having an affair, Red wouldn't write it, put it that way. Well, it's something he earned, obviously. He, he was such a good writer. Uh, he had respect for the guys. He, 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 he was honest in what he wrote. And uh, even though his honesty sometimes could be hurtful, um, uh, if you're honest with yourself, you're able to accept those things. And uh, guys just trusted him. And uh, he, he had a he had a sense of humor. If you got a laugh out of him, boy, uh, you had to be pretty good. You know, someone uh, mentioned to me that he's hot on rookies, and uh, there was a, a newspaper article that he wrote about me. I, I got in a fight the night before. I went after Hank Slavin, guy in Washington who hit Lafleur and. <clears throat> he said the Canadians didn't need a guy like me. And, uh, yeah, I was hurt, you know, because, uh, you know, I was trying to make my way in the NHL, and here's this guy who's been around for years, and uh, I, I felt as though maybe it would have an impact on what happened with me. I didn't know. I was young. I was naive. And um, uh, it's not that I held it against him, but I let him know it once uh, we started talking.